Well, today we all celebrate. Good afternoon, Happy New Year. I'm Joe Curtitoni. I have the honor and privilege of being the mayor of this fine city of Somerville, Massachusetts. The cost burden of commuting for the working poor is nearly two thirds more than other workers. So today is about social justice. So let me ask you, do you want families to have more discretionary income? Yes. Do you want families to be able to save more bills and necessity? Yes. Build more public transportation? Yes. A lack of, a lack of, a lack of quality public transportation adversely affects people's drop limits. I'll make it clear again, he's the greatest governor in this Commonwealth's history. Please welcome this project will not happen now, folks. Governor to not happen. jobs in the here and now, but it also is a platform for growth and opportunity out into the future as the mayor so beautifully put it. And I'll make one other point. Every time someone talks about building public transportation, almost every time, folks rightly applaud. When it comes time to talk about how to pay for that, <laughs> The applause sometimes gets a little weaker. It is critically important that you and we, as citizens, demand that those entrusted with stewarding your money get as much out of every buck as possible. But it is also our responsibility as a community to start having a candid, honest conversation with each other about the taxes to pay for the civilization we deserve. Keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just here today to celebrate. I'm here to celebrate when government works the way it's supposed to. Uh, because that's what this is all about. The Green Line Extension is an opportunity to make this area work better for families across the region. It's an opportunity to give people who want jobs a chance to get to them. It's an opportunity for employers to find more people who become more important. It's an opportunity for businesses to have access to more customers. It's an opportunity for us to breathe air that's just a little bit cleaner and have a little less congestion. And I graduated high school and went to a prom with a beautiful young lady, whom I later married. <laughs> and we were talking about a Green Line stop behind the high school. 1977, I get elected to Alden. And we were talking about a Green Line stop in Ball Square. People who needed mass transit to get to work. Not for fun, but for work. Every single public, private, and philanthropic dollar to do all that we can to lift up and invest in the people and communities we serve. So particularly our communities that are most directly impacted by our transportation and construction projects, we launched as well what we call the Mass Wind Workforce Initiative, which is focused on thank you, critical workforce development needs, small business development, and neighborhood revitalization developed specifically in concert with our major projects. We're going to actually have you sign the agreement before you go. We're going to let you have a summer without signing it as all along Governor Patrick. Let's get a shot of this. The Winter Rocks restuffed the lateral pipeline. We celebrate the Green Line. 
But we also want to warn people that this is an explosive high pressure pipeline that will come. We're, we're going to need to let you uh, we'll We need to support okay. We are truly concerned about our environment. We need to stop this dangerous pipeline that's been built on a meter station next to a blasting quarry in a highly messy population.